Alright, so the next video was supposed to be on inventory management, however the audio didn't record, so I'm going to make this instead. This is me trying to find the value of one gem in pixel coins. So I'm just going to explain my math and the conclusion I came up to. So first here we just kind of have general information, so how much each thing is in gems in the store. So obviously you've got your Abrium bars, Evil bars, Vulcan bars, and Nightmare bars. And then their equivalents. For Evil bars, I just use the Hell bar price because it's the hardest part of Evil bars. Everything else is pretty easy. And then here I've got approximate prices too. So I can do both of them. And so here's kind of the math I did. We're going to start off with Erbium bars. They're 10 gems. And if you divide that by 5, because one bar is 5 ore, it gives you essentially 2 gems per Erbium ore. Well, one Erbium ore right now is selling for 2,000, which means that's 2 gems for 1,000 coins. And that means one gem in Erbium is equal to one pixel coin, which is, of course, no one's going to trade 1,000 coins for a gem. Next we got evil bars, which of course is 35 divided by 5, that's going to be 7 gems per one evil bar or hell bar. And then that means 7 gems per either 35,000 or 50,000 depending on the price. Which means if you're, which means assuming it's 35,000, that's going to be 5,000 pixel coins per one gem. But if you're selling or buying a hell bar for 50,000, that means one gem in that case is worth 7,000. Still not great, but it's getting better. Well now, let's go to Vulcan and Nightmare Bars. With Vulcan, with them being 55 gems, you again divide that by 5, like you do for all of them, and that gives you 11 gems per 1 Vulcan ore, which gives you 11 gems per 55,000 or 65,000, or somewhere in between, it's a pretty unstable price. So that means 1 gem is equal to either 5,000, just like up there, or it's equal to just almost 6,000, which is still less than that original price. And lastly, we have Nightmare Bars, same formula as before, 75 divided by 5, Gives you the price in gems per one nightmare ore, that being 15. Then you set 15 equal to the price, that's being 90,000. You do, you divide both sides by 15, so that's going to be 1 and 90,000 divided by 15 is 6,000. Which means 6,000 pixel coins per one gem, it's still not looking great. So then I averaged it, you know, I added everything up, divided it by 6, because that's how many there are here. And that's including the, um, the variables, like here and here, how it's different amounts which gives you approximately 5,000 pixel coins per gem if you're looking at, um, at it just from bars and stuff because I didn't go and do the math for eggs or weapons or anything. So um, let me know what you think. Do you think one gem is worth only 5,000 pixel coins? Do you think it should be way more? Uh, let me know. Have a good day.